don't know how much you mean to me, baby. Do a medium um, caramel swirl iced coffee with almond milk, please. That'll be it. Thank you. Good morning, guys. I'm starting today's vlog off with a grocery haul because so many of you guys have been asking how to, like, grocery shop and eat healthy during this weird time. And we went through Dunkin' Donuts because, um... We don't have any Kramer because the past two times we've gone to the grocery store in the past week, they've been like completely out of Kramer. This should last us until about a week from now, until next Friday. We already have some meat, so there's not much of that, but we've got guacamole, spinach, grapes, um, honey crisp apples, lemons, mini cucumbers, asparagus, orange juice, some cheese for tacos that we're going to make, and some baby carrots. We've got okra. Um, light and fit yogurt this is like my favorite brand of yogurt and the white goes triple zero and then i got one seggies because i think that this amount will get us through we've got two zucchini squash and then two yellow squash some bananas unsweet vanilla almond milk shredded hash brown potatoes we got some cuties excuse all of the plastic we like don't have any like anything here like the reusable bags right now um just because things are like all over the place my dad likes sparkling water so um we went to walmart by the way and um we got these they're like no sugar, but they're flavored, so I figured I'd get those for him to try. Finally came across some creamer, and my favorite creamer at that, so thank God. Um, I'm not going to have to go out anymore and get coffee, which this is only the second time we've had to go get some, but um, got some sliced pears with no sugar added. I love these. I can eat like a whole can at once, and it's so good. Um, raw walnuts, ground turkey. We're going to make turkey tacos. I'm really excited for that. These are really good. <laughs> Little crispy fish fillets. Um egg noodles because we're gonna make a big thing of chicken noodle soup dark chocolate chips this is for the chicken noodle soup and then we got some heart healthy cream of chicken for the chicken noodle soup we all wanted brownies earlier this week and we had like no sweets here besides like a thing of oreo thins um which it's nice because like if you go to the store and you just like don't buy any like junk you're not gonna be able to eat it because you're not leaving your house and i honestly haven't been snacking a lot through all of this just because i'm wanting to save the food if that makes sense and i'm trying to just like not eat because i'm bored and when i get bored and feel like i'm hungry i just like grab my water and i just chug it <laughs> um but we love these dark chocolate brownies they're so good got some almond nut thins um they didn't have regular power crunch bars which i thought were weird It'd be really good before or after working out but they have these power crunch kids ones you guys know these are my favorite protein bars but they have birthday cake so we'll see how that is these are so good i posted them on my instagram story i love them so much with like some tuna or hummus we got celery um more granola this was like the best one i had this kashi cereal is really good and it's like really simple ingredients my mom loves this so we got that um and then these are so good i specifically only really like this kind but if i like ever want something sweet and salty it's perfect um my parents love this and got some mango chopped kale sweet mini peppers sweet onions and i think that's everything so this was about 150 dollars i think for the three of us to last for literally like every single meal for eight days and then we didn't get any meat besides this because we already stocked up on some last week so that's everything it was actually like pretty cheap for how much we got and so like not be eating out so we also got raspberries blueberries and strawberries can't put it in words You don't know how much you give to me, baby You keep making me learn, yeah I can't, I can't Good morning everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today's thursday march 26th it's about 10 a.m i woke up at like 7 30 this morning and ate some yogurt and went right to the store with my mom to try and like beat crowds which we both had like so much stress about going into the store this morning it just like felt really weird so we went to walmart and we're home now and we just put away all the groceries and wiped out the counters from having everything set on the counter and i'm in my room now and i just instantly changed my clothes from what i was wearing at the grocery store because we're just like extra paranoid and wanting to be extra careful just changed it to this um this is the poly tee from princess Polly. i'll have it linked down below 
And then I've been living in these joggers. I haven't worn them all day the past few days, but I've worn them like in the evening the past three days. These are from ASOS. They're by Public Desire. I will leave them linked down below with um, everything else I'm wearing. These joggers on my story the other day on Instagram. If you're not following me, it's just at Abby period Aslan. And um, a lot of you guys swiped up on them and I think um, they were already going out of stock so there may not be many more left, but just in case, I'll leave them linked down below. Also, yes, I shaved my hair yesterday because I was so bored. I've been staying really busy during all of this with like video editing and I've just, I don't know, I had a lot of content to do last week. But this week it's gonna be all about getting back into schoolwork and that's what I want today's vlog to be about is just getting, figuring out this whole online classes thing and because we got an extra week of spring break, we were supposed to end spring break this past Monday but we start back classes on this Monday, but I already have like so much that I know of that's gonna be due and like projects and assignments. I'm gonna sit down today. I really wish I had a paper planner because I feel like it's really hard for me to like, I don't know, with everything being online and also planning online, it feels really weird. So we're gonna get everything in my Google Calendar, update the due dates and everything. But I've been actually like maintaining a pretty good routine during all of this. Um, I've worked out the past five days in a row. I've done yoga the past three days in a row and I'm hoping to like keep that up because it's been making me feel a lot more sane and I've been doing it in the backyard um, to get some fresh air. This to-do list that I made last night and we went to the grocery store so I'm gonna check that off. Um, I have to upload a brand picture today. Um, I just uploaded the leg workout on my fitness Instagram and now I'm going to get all my stuff set up and just figure out what the heck is going on with my classes. Okay, another thing I need to do today that I forgot about is figure out my freaking schedule for grad school, which like I'm pretty sure each class is only offered at one time, so I should be fine, but I just have to make sure I know like what classes I'm taking fall and spring. So I'm gonna do that today too. Okay, so I am on one email from one of my professors and I'm just going to put things in my calendar one class at a time. Some due dates have changed and some haven't, so um, I also found out that two, I have four classes and my investments class and my strategic management class, we are still meeting on Zoom at the same time, like for classes, which like literally sucks so bad. I didn't think we'd be doing that, but we're meeting on Zoom. And then my corporate tax class, it's like all up to us. Um, basically like she's doing pre-recorded lecture videos, so. Um, we can watch those whenever, which I guess is nice because we don't have to like watch them at 8 a.m. or anything like we used to have to go to class. Okay guys, it took like 20 minutes to go through everything, all of my updated schedules and everything like that so um i have my class meeting times on here um for my two classes that i still have to meet through zoom on my presentation due dates my paper due dates that's the month of april it's gonna be pretty busy especially the week i think i'm gonna be going back to houston to be with griffin until right after our birthdays on the 16th and 17th um, and then I think we're gonna try to go back to Tuscaloosa. I've updated all that. I'm about to go sit outside with my mom in the backyard, I think, while it's still sunny. Um, because it's been kind of overcast and we just want to, like, soak up the sun, you know? So, get some vitamin D. So, I'm gonna do that and start working on my strategic management assignment that I have due on... Let's see, I have one due Monday. Look how funny she looks in the wind. It's so funny. Come on, girl. Getting some celery and peanut butter. I realize I haven't ate since like 7.45 and it's 12.15, but um, I ate some celery and peanut butter and this is just lemon pepper tuna from one of these little packs. They've been a good source of protein for lunch time, but I mainly eat them. We have some reds out right now, but I'm obsessed with these crackers. They're so good. So I'm gonna eat them with either those or I think I'm gonna do some pita chips today. It's a bit later now, and I am about to eat one of these. I told you guys about these earlier, but I'm still shocked that they have this flavor and strawberry shortcake for kids, but they don't have it in regular sizes. I'm gonna eat this because I plan on working out in about an hour, but I might take a power nap since I woke up so early and didn't go to bed that early. I'm a little bit sleepy, but what I've been doing, 
I have like 30 pages of this to read for my strategic management class to do my case on or to do my case by Monday. So I read half of it and that's what I've been doing, but it took me a while to get through. Okay guys, so my parents, um, my dad regularly works from home, but my mom um, is having to work from home as a teacher. So they're both having to be on like calls a lot and stuff and they're both on calls right now. So I'm just like feeling like I hear people talking and I want to get out of the house. So I couldn't sleep. Um, I tried the power nap for like 15 minutes and I was just like not happening. I've decided I'm going to work out and I'm just about to get my workout outfit together. I think I'm going to wear my Lululemon like speckled leggings. I love them so much and I haven't worn them in a while with a sports bra. So I think I'm gonna do like a full body strength slash hit and then do some band work. So yeah, I've just got on this Lululemon Free to Be Serene Sports Bra, I think is the name of it. I'll link it down below. I love everything about these leggings, like the fit of them, the way they look. I love all the little like paint splatter looking detail. Um, I'll leave them linked down below, but I got them on sale and they might still be on sale, so. I've been drinking so much water, you guys, it's insane. Not even like intentionally, I wasn't like, I'm gonna drink a ton of water during all this, but I drink one entire 40 ounce before I work out. Typically, I drink one entire one while I work out just because I've been working out outside, so I feel like I'm needing to drink it more. And then I normally drink like one throughout the evening, and sometimes two. So I've been drinking anywhere from like 120 to 160 ounces, which is um, really good for me. So let's go get this work. <laughs> The wind is so bad out that like my camera was like falling over I'm inside now and I'm about to finish up my um, band workouts for my legs so insert that here. Okay, I just finished up my circuit. Um, well, I did my circuit outside and then I came inside to do band work. So this is where I'm at right now. It's like exactly 30 minutes. A lot of you guys told me to download the Down Dog app for yoga since I've been getting into that lately instead of just like searching YouTube all the time. Um, so I'm gonna try it for the first time today, but I'm just doing a restorative one today. I couldn't remember what it was called, but this one's like a fully seated, no pose stretch gentle yoga because that's what I really feel like I need today so that's what I'm going to do real quick. Alright, we are done with the 15 minute yoga. It was really truly just like stretching which I love because some days I don't want to do any poses and I just want to stretch but I feel like tomorrow I want to like pick it up and do like a full on yoga flow um which is what i did yesterday i did one that my friends like emailed to me that she's getting from a spin studio i think 
and she forwarded it to me and I did it yesterday and it was so good but it was really hard and it was like a yoga flow. Um, I'm feeling so good about myself like in general because I'm just like really taking advantage of this time being at home and I am really grateful that I'm able to work from home and I have the time to do this um, because it's felt so great like taking care of my mind and body by practicing more stretching and yoga and just literally doing some kind of a movement every day. Um, I can't believe I've worked out six days in a row now and um, I'm more consistent now than I ever was having a gym. I'm starting school work today but once my classes actually start I'll have to like um, really optimize my schedule like actually get up and get going earlier in the morning instead of just like waiting till noon to do anything. Um, it was truly a comedy scene when I was outside with my yoga mat. I wish I would have, I might have some footage of me like trying to hold it down. But the wind was literally blowing my yoga, like picking it up off of cement. With my hydroplast that was full on top and blowing it around. It's ridiculous. Finally got more ritual vitamins and I'm so excited. Um, I'm doing another brand deal with them and I did one with them about a year, almost a year ago. The vitamins are seriously my favorite. Uh, I just came in the mail and I just took more. But I guess it's time for me to revisit my to-do list, yay. <laughs> um, let's see, I posted my leg workout on my Fitsta. I updated my Google Calendar. I worked out and did yoga. Wow, this feels so good to check this off. I contacted my business strategy game group and I uploaded my Aussie pick and I have started my Fortnite, so I'm going to check it off but I'm actually going to keep working on it once I shower and I'm just going to take a body shower right now since I don't want to wash my hair since I straightened it yesterday. Okay, I showered back into the same outfit and I just sprayed some of my Aussie dry shampoo in my hair. Alright, I just got done making and eating dinner with the fam. It was really good. I think my mom's gonna make some dark chocolate brownies, which I'm excited for. Ghirardelli dark chocolate brownies are just the best. I just got a package in the mail and um, the swag store in Tuscaloosa. What? Can I speak? Tuscaloosa. They are doing like this small business support small fundraiser thing where basically you can go on their site and buy like they have this shirt in a bunch of different colors. For $25, you can go on there and buy a t-shirt, um, but you click on like which business you want to support and like the proceeds are like going to that small business. So I got mine for Juice Bar because I've worked with them in the past and I know the owner and um, she's the sweetest and they have it temporarily shut down. So, um, which I think they're back up and running now and just doing delivery. But yeah, I got this shirt. It's so cute. So trying to help in every way I can right now. taking me like a million years to read this crap because it's literally about a like steel producing plant so it's so boring to me but I am trying so hard to get through it. Guys it's so much later and I feel like I have no content for this vlog but I don't want to make a two day vlog because I know I want to do a separate vlog tomorrow. It's 10 20 and I finally finished reading my 30 page case. It was so boring um and there was no reason I needed to finish it tonight um but the reason I did is because I'm trying, I feel like the best way for me to approach this whole online class situation is to stay ahead on stuff instead of doing it the day of or the day before because I can space things out better and it'll give me a lot more flexibility with like traveling if I go back to Tuscaloosa or Houston soon, which is happening, I just don't know when, um, and then like give me plenty of time to like study for whenever the tests roll around because I know that'll be soon. Plenty of time to work on my big projects for the end of the semester and it gives me time 
and flexibility to work out and do the things I like to do during this time so that I'm not having to consume my day with schoolwork and so I can um, balance my YouTube stuff with it even though I don't have a ton going on right now. So I thought it would be in my best interest to get ahead on stuff which is why I was so adamant about finishing reading that case today um, so that tomorrow I could do the work for it. Yeah, I suggest you guys trying to get ahead if it's already not too late on your schoolwork or taking time to get ahead so that you have flexibility to do things during your day besides schoolwork because you tend to have a lot more free time if you get ahead on stuff rather than waiting until last minute and cramming it all. So I'm going to change into my pajamas since I'm still in my sweats. Um, I'm just sleeping in a t-shirt and underwear though so nothing special. Take my chocolate melatonin, <laughs> the best stuff ever. And um, yeah, go to bed. I feel really good because I got everything done today. Um, I FaceTimed one of my friends from school earlier and that's why it took me way longer than it should have to finish reading that case. Okay guys, it's like 11.52. I just woke up because I dozed off. Um, I'm watching Molly right now. I love her so much. Um, she's like literally like one of my favorite YouTubers. And I fell asleep watching her video, so I just like rewinded to where I was at and I'm watching it. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna watch the rest of this and then go to bed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, my next vlogs, I'll actually be doing my classes and doing online school instead of just preparing for it and doing a little bit of work. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Be sure to subscribe if you are not already. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And Follow me on social media and I will see you guys in my next video.